Right, so line us all night, uh, but nothing happened. Uh, uh, I got up at first light. I think one of the liners woke me up actually, and uh, the sun was just coming over the trees, just starting to lighten up. And I thought, well, I'll redo the bag. So I put fresh, fresh baits and fresh bags on all the rods. And an hour later, this one went off. And this is a lovely fish. This is exactly 20 pounds, but as I'm netting this one, <laughs> one of the other rods goes, uh, and that one's bigger. So I'm going to wear the other one in a second, but it, it's bigger than this one. So uh, yeah, so this is uh, morning bite number one. This is on the switch on the cork ball pop-ups. Just over a little bit of switch. Didn't put a lot of bait out last night because the pressure's high. Well, it's not exactly ideal fishing conditions, so I didn't put a lot of bait out. Maybe 20 or 30 baits over each rod. So uh, we'll pop this one back and uh, we'll get the big one out. So the other half of this brace, this morning brace. Yeah, I don't really fish here very often. I know it seems a bit strange, but I tend not to fish here. I tend to focus on syndicates and what have you. So, but when I do fish here, and I say it to the members, you know, mornings is always the, uh, always the bite time. So, uh, and this one didn't let us down either. So this is a double take, 20 pound on the first one. And look at that. 25.8 on this one. Uh, there's, a, there's a couple of commons in here that are very similar and this is certainly one of them. I'm not sure which one it is. That's how out of touch with the place I am. I tend to only do the maintenance down here more than anything, but uh, uh, I've taken some close-ups of, of some scales on it so I can uh, I can soon confirm which one it is when I get back to base. But yeah, what a brilliant morning brace. Happy days. Is a bit weedy there, and this one is having a go into the weed. Yeah, it's definitely gone into the weed as this fish now, but it's moving. Ah, just steady pressure. Well, they're coming in twos. Got two fish to show you. Yeah, the sun came up this morning and the fish got on top, so naturally the zig rod came out. And I've had a brace. This is the smaller one of the two. This is the first one. Lovely mid double common. Possibly a little bit more, but uh, I'm not going to bother weighing him, going to get him back because uh, I've got one of Stable's bangers to show you. One of the real pretty scaly ones. Uh, about five minutes after catching this one, the other rod went and uh, yeah, I've had one of the nice ones, so uh, we'll get this back and I'll uh, I'll get you the scaly one. Yeah, this one's a really pretty fish. I've wanted to catch this one. I'm glad I've had him this morning. Just a little under 19 pound. What a stunner. There's four or five of them in here like this and they're all as pretty as this one. Uh, this is probably the second biggest out the group. The biggest one of these going 23, so yeah, they're a, a fine addition to the pond. And we'll get him back for someone else to enjoy.
Normally on this lake by 10 o'clock that's uh, that's your chance gone but it's after 10 now and I've just had one on the milky malts just casting at showers I saw some showers earlier in the morning just put a bait on them and there he is not the smartest fish in the lake by any stretch of the imagination this one it's a fish we call the banana he hovers around 20 pound so I haven't weighed him but I'm guessing he's around that mark an unexpected bite this one seen a couple of fish show but uh, not too many and uh, I've had apple slice which is one of the one of the original mirrors we put in so yeah 23 pound what a fabulous way to start the evening The sun's just coming up and the left hand rod's gone off one of the stockies but yeah they're getting on a bit this will be about 16 I'm guessing now this fish so they're getting there and uh, I've only seen one or two this morning to be fair so uh, they're not very active but uh, I was almost ex not thinking I wasn't gonna get one but we got one in the end but there's still time it's only about quarter past eight it's probably an hour or so before it warms up and the fish start to uh, sitting on the top like they are doing at the moment so we'll get this one back we'll get the rod back out and uh, we'll maybe got the opportunity for another bite Being an S7 fan and it's the bait that I've used for the majority of my DNA fishing I have to say this switch is beginning to impress me because I use it through the winter and into the spring but two years on the bounce now and I've just continued to catch so I haven't felt the need to change back to my normal S7 which tells me that's a good bait 
I said I might get another fish and didn't disappoint. It wasn't out half an hour, straight on it, a little bag, crushed up switch with a cork ball pop up. Seems to be a bit of a winner that. So probably this is the last bite of the morning flurry before the fish move on to the top and it's time to get the zig rod back out again but uh, yeah, nice common. Right, so it's close to midnight and the middle rod's gone off as you can see. Lovely half linear, stunning fish fell for the switch on the cork balls again. It's not letting me down at the moment this switch. We'll get him back and we'll, uh, we'll get the rod redone. Well the night rod's gone off again and this is a fish that we call rugby. I think I've had this one before but a good few years ago so really happy with this one at £24.10. Same rod that went off last night, so uh, certainly a patrol route. So it's only about 11 o'clock, so it's slightly earlier than last night, so we'll see, might be chance of another one, but I'm well happy with this fish. Well I think these fish have seen such little angling pressure over the last few weeks for obvious reasons. I think they're a little bit easier to trip up than what they normally would be. Another morning brace and another brace of 20 pounders. This is the smaller one of the two. Again on the switch, on the cork ball pop-ups, over a, a decent amount of bait I'll have to say on this one. <laughs> this one's 21 pound and uh, the rod went off shortly after this one. And I think that fish is slightly bigger, so we'll get that one out and uh, let you have a look at him. Well, here's the second part of that brace, and uh, yeah, I thought it was a little bit bigger, and it is coming in at just under £24. Again on the switch, doing really well on it at the moment. Um, I'm not sure which fish this is actually, but uh, I'm not sure it's got a name, but what do you reckon, single scale? We ain't got one in here, and every lake needs a single scale, doesn't it? So maybe we'll call it that. Whatever it is, it's a, it's a great morning brace, a pair of 20s. Well, I hope you enjoyed that snippet of clips from Stables from my lake. Yeah, they were all work party fish, those ones. So um, just getting the lake ready for the coming season. So all my jobs are done down there and I can concentrate on my own fishing. And as you can see, I'm back at Girton and uh, not one of the big fish. But it's a bite, it's early season, plenty of time in the year yet for here, so uh, these fish are due to spawn soon, so uh, we'll give them a couple of weeks off and uh, we'll resume our fishing. <laughs>